G'day guys, welcome back. Welcome to Pouring Your Heart Out. I am going to do a fairy flower again, but I want to put one of these in the middle. You know, because some people don't like glitter and sometimes it moves off centre and I thought, let's put a little holographic foil in there. They're not actually stickers, it just comes on a bit of paper, except it's black on the other side. So if you wanted to, you could use that side, but I'm going to use the silver side. And I'm thinking this one. I think would be nice. So I'm going to cut it out. I got these on Etsy oh, a year or so ago, so don't ask me where. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know, but just search metallic foils. Um, Etsy, Amazon, wherever you normally buy things from. Um, I bought a whole heap. I got carried away and I got so many different shapes and things. So anyway, that's it. Now, um, as you can see, it's got like a clear plastic on it. So it's probably a good idea. Maybe those scissors are a bit thin. Um, a good idea to try and trim it down a little bit if you can. Now, it's going to take a little while. I'm not going to bore you while I stand here and trim them all down. Make sure that they don't, the bits of plastic don't go into my my mold. So I'm going to just trim them. Um, and then what I'll do is I'll pop it down face down. So because the edges are still clear, you'll be able to see through them. Um, but so if we get like a big white blob or something in the middle, hopefully that will cover it. So anyway, that's what I'm going to do. Uh, I'll, I'll trim it up. I'll be right. I know I have got my colors all mixed up. Just take my little gloves off here. I'm using the art pro from resin pro and this time i'm only going to do two colors i'm going to do black it's the holbein acrylic ink lamp black and indanthrin blue by holbein so just going to do these two colors <laughs> the black looks really dark i hope it's going to be all right it's still still a bit transparent still transparent and the blue is still transparent um now I'm, i've put some of my white in there already this is my bloom paste so to get a small um drop i just twist halfway like that and then you just give it a bit of a squeeze and when you see the little drop come into the surface you can release one and two. If you want to close it again, it's nice and easy because it's got a twist top. If you want to do a big drop, you can just twist that was that was halfway, and then you can go again. So a full turn to do a big drop. But I just use a little drop. So that's it. I mean, I've already got some in there, but I just wanted to show you how that little nozzle works. Love, love, love it. I've been using it for quite a few of my pores now, and um, it is just working so well. It works on everything so happy 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 with it happy to endorse it endorse it i'll pop a link for it down below in my description um, you can get it through my amazon store the us amazon store and you can also get it through my ebay store bloom all right stir that up and then i've got my other white here it's the same it's the bloom as well it's just um a little bit more transparent then this one, this one's more opaque. Let's make sure I get all the little, get it stirred up really well so I don't get any little streaky bits. Alrighty, and I'm going to do my piping today. So that's that's what it looks like. But like I said, if you want to do black, you can do black. But um, gosh, now, is that the middle? Let's just put it down. Let's see if that's the middle. I think it needs to come over a little bit. So it wants to stick nicely to the, the um, silicone, so hopefully, hopefully, um, it'll work well. So we're at about five and a half centimeters. Oh, that's five, but see it, the edges aren't straight, so five and a half. What's this one? Six. Okay, do have to come over a bit. I was right to begin with. How's that? Five and a half. Five and a half. Okay. We're good to go. 
I just give it a bit of a nice it doesn't look right to me to my eye to my eye all right then it press it down and then hopefully when we unmold it'll be there so okay um I'm going to pop my glove back on move the white for a minute so what I'm going to do is I'm going to put my black around the outside might as well do it this way so this is my straight edge live edge mold it's got the little crystals um, but they're a bit they're a bit finer they're not as big as the chunky live edge mold so a little bit more fine and delicate Ready. and then the blue is just going to go into the middle so I'm hoping you know once once everything starts moving that a little bit of the black will come into the center because normally I've been doing you know the dirty pores I've been layering different colors in my cups and then pouring those out which looks amazing but you know me I just want to try something different I want to see what happens so let's see what happens all right, now um, I need to give this a bit of a tap, tap, tap. Try and remove some of those bubbles from the surface of the mold because they do like to cling. Bubbles do like to cling to silicone, and I find this just helps to move them. I don't look. I haven't actually tried to put, um, you know, isopropyl alcohol on the mold first. I haven't actually tried that. Mm, I guess I could. I could try it, but um, not at the moment. All right, here we go. I'm going to use my piping bag today. I have been using the pipette, which also works really well, but it's a little bit more time-consuming, a little bit more fiddly. When I was stirring this a few minutes ago, the um, Art Pro resin, um, which I used 125 grams of A and 85 grams of B. When I was stirring it, I was thinking to myself, this feels very similar to the Platinum 360 Plus, like in viscosity. So I might have to try it. I tried one the other day with the Platinum Ultra Clear. It's very thin um, and I just had to wait 15 minutes or so before I decanted. I might give it a go with the um, 360 plus. What do you think? I could try just for some of those people that maybe don't have the Art Pro or can't get the Art Pro. Let's see what size that's going to be. I think that looks okay. Little eyeballs looking at us. All right. Are we ready? Ready, please, Mr. Music. Let's go with our dotting. A little bit of pressure with my thumb. Up and down, up and down bit of pressure as I'm dropping it down I'm just giving a bit of pressure with my thumb and then releasing it when I lift the bag back up again so feel free to fast forward if you don't want to watch me dotting hopefully the dots will start moving towards the center which is what we want I see a bubble there might as well wind that back up again. All right, now I'm going to try and go in between each of these dots, if possible. I feel like my hole could be a little bit bigger in this bag. But if it's if you want slightly bigger dots, then you know just squeeze a bit harder. It's better than having the hole too big and then everything just drips out, because then you have no control over it when it does that. And again. Hoping my colours aren't too dark. I'm still pretty new to this, this technique from resincourses.com, which I will also link down below for you and a discount code if you want to do it. Still pretty new, so still learning, um, trying to work out like the depth of colours because in, in the course, I mean, they use different um, products to what I'm using. So you just have to tweak it a little bit. And I'm not going to have my white go all the way into the middle because I don't want a big white blob in the centre. Okay, so that's about it. That's where I'll stop. It looks very dark though. 
Mind you, I did use black. All right, now we're going around again because those drops have started to move. So now we go around the outside again and filling in between each of those little dots. It started to move. I'm hoping these colours all look nice. Kind of after my my thoughts that I had in the in my head was like a smoky grey type of a effect with the dark blue and the black. It's kind of what I'm going for. Whether or not I'll get it, I don't know. I'm just going through and filling in where I see an empty space. Just going in again, but again, not too much into the middle. I'm just going to wind that up a bit. Never use all my white. And I think I'll go again around the outside. Round the outside, round the outside. What is that from? Every time I say that, I think of that and I think, oh, I don't know where that comes from. <laughs> that just pops into my head. Where? What is that from? It must be a song of some kind. I don't know. Okay, how's that? I always have a little bit of white left over. I don't want to use it like too, too much. Um, is, um, is that enough? Is that enough? I'll go around it one more time. Just in between this row here. And then that will be enough. Okay, that's me done. A little bit left there. Okay. Now, this is always the scary part, isn't it? We're just going to throw in all this white. White pigment paste. The, um, the bloom, this was my test piece. I haven't got my label yet, but they'll have their label soon. Um, it's it's a really highly pigmented paste. It's it's heavy, so it works really, really well for all these sorts of techniques. Um, some other brands just, they just don't cut it, you guys. They're just not as highly pigmented. Um, they have a lot of oil in them. I think they have a little bit of... I can't be too sure, but the bottle that I've got, the paste sits on the bottom and about that much in the bottom and then the rest of it's oil. So, anyway. Seeing is believing. All right. So I'm hoping I only get that kind of smoky, grey, bluey sort of shade happening. Everything's moving. Now, I don't know, again, I'm not sure if I need to, like, you know when you're doing the dragon flower and you're doing all your petal, your designs and you have to wait for it all to close and then you add your, your clear? I don't know whether it's the same for this. I haven't been doing that. I've just been doing my dots, pouring the, the last one in and waiting. So, um, yeah, maybe one day I'll try doing all the dots, waiting for it to close. But, see, I don't really think mine close all that much. I don't think so. That looks, oh, that looks amazing. Wouldn't it be nice if it stayed like that, hey? So you can see how the white, oh, I can't get my glove off. Oh, gosh. You can see how the white is, um, is spreading. Like it's kind of floating, but it's also spreading. I'm going to bring you down. If I, can, if I can get my gloves off. It's a struggle, you guys. It's a struggle. Oh, these ones are powder free. Maybe I should get some powder ones. <gasps> Next time I buy, I'll get powder ones. All right. Look at that. See how it's kind of floating? I hope it's going to work. I'm a bit concerned that my colours are too dark. <laughs> oh. Looks like a sky, the sun shining through clouds. Anyway. All right. Um, this will take me about eight hours or so and um, actually I might put it in the heater that way I can unmold it today because it's already after 3 p.m. but if I wait a couple of hours until it stopped moving and then stick it in my um, curing machine I'll be able to unmold it tonight yay all right wish me luck with it see you soon 
How amazing does this look? Oh, it's like a swarm of something going in. No, um, a school of fish. A school of fish. <laughs> Still a little bit bendy. Let's have a little look, hey? Oh, gosh. Always so excited. Always so excited. And also we've got the different edge today. So it'll be interesting to see if it gives a different look. All right. Are we ready? Oh, my gosh. Here we go. Here we go. Oh, wow. That is different, isn't it? Wow. Look at the edges. We've got these tiny little petals right up to the very tippy-tippy edges there. Do you like my little flower in the centre? I don't know if a little bit of resin's got underneath it or not. Oh, I can still feel it though. Look, it's so cool. Oh, and there's the edges. I was hoping it wasn't going to be quite so bright blue. <laughs> I do like this colour though. It's kind of a, a slate kind of a colour, isn't it? But yeah, the blue in the middle is a bit too bright for what I was hoping for. <laughs> Oh my gosh. All right. Um, we'll have a little walk around the studio and have a look at it in some different lights, okay? Okay, here we go. Look at that. You can see all the different colours in that little holographic foil in the centre there. But like I said, you could, if you wanted to, just use the other side um, and have the black centre. Looks really pretty. Might have looked really nice with um, some purple in it as well. I might actually try just just black. Maybe I can make like a really navy, dark navy. That's what I was hoping for. Just didn't quite get it with this one, but I can try again. That's the good thing about resin. It's just resin. You can do it again. I really like the colour of the edge there. It's almost like a fawn colour, but... I only used black. Maybe the blue's giving it that slight kind of fawny colour. It's really cool. All right, let me know what you think of it. Do you prefer it more of a kind of a blended mottly look? Because this one is, you know, the, the ring in the centre is quite in your face. It's, it's right there. It's a circle. <laughs> but, um, yeah, just something different, isn't it? All right. Thank you so much for watching and uh, I will see you all again for the next video real soon. So thank you for watching and um, yeah, I'll see you all again real soon. Bye for now.